The first stop on our search of the world's most incredible rooms takes us 30 miles north of Atlanta to Milton, Georgia. This major league property is home to former Atlanta Braves pitcher John Smoltz, his wife, and six kids. He's going to show us not one, but two million dollar spaces that took some backbreaking work to create because he did most of it himself. John. Hey, Carter, how are you? How are you? Doing good. Come on in. Good to see you. John spent an amazing 21 years dedicating his life to baseball. After retirement, he built this 21,000 square foot, 10 bedroom, 12 bathroom, Southern style mansion to fulfill his entire wish list. Perfecting the interior of his home, it was the outside that he couldn't wait to get his hands on, spending millions to create his very own field of dreams. We're about to enter <laughs> Disney World in the backyard for me. So here's, here's oh what we've got. Oh my gosh. This is all your property? It's all the property, 22 acres. First piece that went in was the baseball field. And just so you know, I did my studies, the wind blows in. Okay. So I made a pitcher's park. Gotcha. We got a little bit of a splash zone in left field. We got a- Wait, so you, you designed all of this? Yeah. Now I had some help right. working out, but I did all the, the bulldozing work, the bobcat. Oh my gosh. And I wanted to physically be able to do the work and then take care of it at the same time. I see golf, I see baseball. You name it, we've got it. We got football, <laughs> soccer, slash field over across the creek, fishing pond, so if you're into fishing, we've got the golf course. You can hit every golf shot from pitching wedge, Come sand on. wedge to For driver. Real? That's Behind amazing. those big trees is a tennis court. Uh huh. Over to the left is a full court basketball. Do you play all these sports? Yep, yep, I'm, uh, I'm a sports geek. How much time and energy do you think you put towards this? At least Backyard. two years, thousands of hours. Obviously, I've got a full-time uh, landscape guy that, that works and done a great job. And this is a lot, uh -huh. but it's so much fun. I'm sure you can have, a, you have every sport you, you, you ultimately could dream up. How much money do you think you spent on all of this? In the backyard, easily $2 million. But this area right here, this is what I was telling you. Up, my next passion is to play professional golf at some level. So, Don't know if I'll get there. Right. But I designed it that if I was going to really want to do the things you have to do in practice, why not do it in your backyard? Right. So nine tees, putting green. I can light the putting green at night. I get on the equipment. I cut grass when I can. And there's three different kinds of grass, which is, uh -huh. which is. Which is a little bit tricky because you've got to maintain all of them. The different, different heights. Mowers. We've got a golf course watering system, 38 different zones, irrigate from the pond. So. Oh, you do? Yes. So, so you take from there, so you're not taking any of the city water? Correct. <laughs> like that? Well, John, you have so many fun gaming activities around here. I think that we should at least take part in a couple of them, right? Yeah, why don't we? You want to start with golf? Golf is here. perfect. Let's do that. Oh, just set up and go, man. It's you. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. And I almost broke John Smoltz's lamp. So we're going to go on to the next part. <laughs> I wanted this to be an area where the family could have fun, whether it was kickball, baseball. Dimensions, you know, the base paths are what they normally would be. Has anybody ever hit a home run over there? I had some of the Braves over here taking about 100 swings, and uh -huh. neither one. Nobody could hit it. So this is synthetic. Synthetic infield. And the best part about this turf is you cannot really ruin it. Uh -huh. So no matter what's on here or who's on here or what you're doing, it's safer. You get an opportunity to get out here if the weather's not good. And I've had a lot of baseball teams come out here and work out mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. weather on the fields is no good and they can't right. get on the field. Right. Here, they can at least work. Right, because the water just soaks right through. Yep. Seeing as how baseball is my worst sport, I'm just gonna get a nice little pitch or two from Mr. Smoltz yeah, here. Let's do it, let's get it on. It should be hilarious. <laughs> all right, here we go for all the marbles. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, come on, I should be able to hit that one. Oh, I'm getting all nervous. Ah, oh, man, can't hit a thing. Oh gosh, see that, see that? It's John Smoltz. He's brushed me back. I'm going yard on this one. There's a drive. Come on! 
I gotta go run the bases. See you later. In the park, home run, John Smoltz's house, only a million dollar rooms. Continuing our tour of John Smoltz's beautiful Georgia home, we put the outdoor action on pause and head inside to check out his personal Hall of Fame. On the first floor, John built a major league trophy room worthy of Cooperstown. And after a storied career where he pitched 213 winning games and was picked for the all-star team eight times, he has a lot of trophies to fill the cases. These neat little cabinets sunk in get an opportunity to put some of the things that uh, we've acquired over the years of a long baseball career. That's the mini version of the World Series Championship. Look at that. That is amazing. Do you ever come down here and see some of these things and just like, I cannot believe that's my life. Yeah, I do. Uh, there's some things that are uh, obviously a little more special than the rest and, uh -huh. you know, getting an opportunity to win that trophy was cool and then, uh, you MVP? know, certain things. MVP? MVP trophy in 92. I mean, that's crazy. You know, so looking around, whoops. Is that for, <laughs> hold on here. That's a mistake it, there. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Cy Young Award presented to John Smoltz, 1996. Is that really supposed to be there? No, or? it's not. It's supposed to be in one of these cabinets and, <laughs> and certainly, uh, I mean, you know, it's the Cy Young. It's not that major. It's not that big of a deal. It's cool. And did you know you wanted to have display cases? throughout the entire... I saw this at somebody else's home and I said, that's pretty cool. And the yeah. recess was something I said, well, that would be cool because it's not Out right at you. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad Ali torch was just pretty cool. Wait, that's Muhammad Ali? That's a torch? Yeah, that was when the Olympics no were here way. In, uh, in Atlanta. That is really cool, man. That is awesome. You have some really unique stuff here. But you know what I didn't even think about is you have cork flooring yeah. down here too. So you got a little style. Like, who, look at this guy. smalls <laughs> has got a little style in his home as well because we don't see cork flooring that often. Mm -hmm. uh, reason why you put that? You know, it, 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 was, it was neat. It feels great. When I saw it, it just felt like the real deal. And yeah. yeah, cork's great. It's a renewable resource. It's antibacterial and antimicrobial. If you want to know at home, it's a great flooring product and he's got it in this house. Well, John, it was truly a pleasure to walk around your home. I mean, the, all the stuff you have in the backyard is remarkable. There's so many different things you can do here. I probably missed some, didn't I? No, you got, you got <laughs> most of it. It's why I never want to leave. Yeah, I can see why. Well, listen, thank you so much. It was really a pleasure, pleasure walking around. Great space.